What's going on YouTube? Mr. 1013 is back and we're going to be taking a look at the 7-pack G.I. Joe Resolute set that came out back in 2010. Um, of course, um, these figures came from the Resolute animation. Um, the cartoon that um, showed up on Cartoon Network, um, the DVD, if you haven't checked it out, it was a real, a really good, um, really good movie. G.I. Joe movie, you know, animated movie or whatever. Um... Highly recommend you check it out if you haven't checked it out. And um, I, I've had this set for a little while now, but never really got a chance to um, to do uh, a review of them. So I know one of my fellow subscribers had done, um, and a guy I follow, I believe it's Ice Water. Forgive me if it's not you, but I, I seen he posted um, um, a review. When I was thinking about doing it, I seen him post his review of it, so I didn't want to kind of you know backdoor him and <laughs> and do a review too so i get it i gave him some time so you guys should check it out on my channel as well and if it's not you will forgive you uh forgive me for um for the wrong name but anywho stalker from the resolute pack this guy is pretty good um it was pretty decent there was a lot of new mold in here and then they absolutely used this mold and, and a couple other figures out of this same pack which you, I'll point out to you um, as we go through the um, um, the review. But they didn't really come with a lot of accessories and everything. Um, as as you can see, Starkery came with basically two big Desert Eagle handguns. Let me see if we can get a better focus on that. There we go. He has two of these. Oh, and that almost went off the table. And he also has a little assault rifle right here. Pretty cool. Um, a lot of these funky colors too, like this green and uh, with the silver clip um, stock and um, uh, whatever we call this. But uh, sorry, guys, long day. But anywho, um, GI Joe stand, Sergeant Stalker on there. Simple stuff. And let's take a look at the figure. Alright, so we got Sergeant Stalker here. A <laughs> mean mugging. Stands pretty well without the stand. Has that sort of lean to him. You know, we gotta get him positioned. It's like one leg is longer than the other. This leg seems like it's longer than the other one. You kind of stand him up straight. You can see me. One leg. So, got to look out there. I don't know if it's on any of you guys' pack like that, but um, seems like this leg is shorter. Or the plastic was just bent. Hmm. Never really noticed it because I always had them on the stand. But um, Knife does come out the sheath right here. On mine, this is pretty loose. You can see I just kind of knock it back and forth. Um, so, be careful of that. Pistol is in the hand. Um holster but this is all one piece it's not a removable pistol articulation wise um, the beret does not come off articulation wise head is kind of hindered by the dreads so um, you can get some good back and forth um, not so slight up and down this turtleneck is what it's supposed to be um, it's actually just an extra piece because he has it's like they just use this mold I want to spend money on making like an actual turtleneck uh, mode like we eventually got with the um, snake eyes from the uh, 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 Pursuit of Cobra. Had the thermal on with the uh, with the turtleneck, but this is like <laughs> the, I guess the way to just clean that up a little bit. But yeah, it's just one solid piece. Then this is supposed to be the turtleneck piece right here. But articulation wise, like I said, the head scope was a little hindered. Arms go out, does a 360, elbow bends and spins, no problem. Wrist spins, no um, hinges on that. This is before the hinge time. Um, torso, slight ab crunch. Um, 360 is hindered by, oh no, the 360 years ago is not hindered by the web gear. Legs go out. Double jointed knees, foot pivots, and spins. Now this was this was um a line I wish they would have they could have kind of stayed with. Um 
right after the 25th anniversary, they were going to single card these, I believe, because the Duke in this version has the, um, I believe it's like the Arctic Duke or something like that, um, where he has the coat on, but the Duke in his regular attire was, um, in a single pack. And you can still probably find find those on like Small Joe's or any other e-tailers out there who carries Joe's. But they were supposed to be sitting card and I guess they wanted to hurry up and try to push for the movie stuff. So they just put this stuff in a seven pack. But um, let's just take a look at how well he holds his uh his weapons. Get that in there real quick. Uh, look like he holds the assault rifle very well. Looks pretty dope doing it. Nice. Very well, very well. And that's always great. Nothing loose about it. You know, um, makes for a good, clean stance on the, um, on the stance. And pistol in hand. And Put the pistol in both of them, and since he's going to be dual wielding, doing some akimbo shooting, holds both pistols very well. So no complaints um about this figure except for the leg. Maybe he was just built um he was just built wrong, and um or the plastic. I have no idea why this this leg is shorter than the other one. So I don't know if that was a mishap or it's just because it looks up here like the joints are actually even. This one might be a little bit higher, so maybe that's why um, it's like that. But there we have it. Um, Stalker from the G.I. Joe Resolute 2010 7-pack. Um, Hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the rest of the Joe team. Support by clicking that like button, sharing the videos, and all that good stuff. If you love those Joes, you know anybody else that does, let them know. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.